Hi guys, welcome back to Tu El Garf. Welcome to Santa Eulalia Beach. I'm Nick and we're going to tell you a little bit about this lovely little beach which is just on the outskirts of Albufeira. So you can walk here or you can arrive by taxi, by tuk-tuk or by private car. Nice and easy to get to. Great little beach. Let's show you around. One of the things I like about this beach, it's a good family beach for a number of reasons. Um, partly, you've got nice, easy access to the beach for push chairs or wheelchairs. You've got a lovely sandy beach. You've got a nice slope into the water, which is absolutely great for kids. You've got some nice facilities on the beach, like showers, etc. On the other side, you've got some more upmarket facilities and plenty of water sports. For Albufeira, it's a nice medium-sized beach. You've got a nice area right in front of the car park, which is ideal if you brought your own sunshade or a picnic blanket, windshade, etc. You can just put it there. You've also got lifeguards in attendance, very handsome lifeguards, by the way. They're in attendance from the 15th of May to the 15th of October making it a perfect beach to come to with the family. The west end of the beach, you've got some pretty rock formations, you've got a little bit of shelter from the wind, and there's another area where you can use your parasols and your blankets, etc. Always remember, you can't put your parasol up in front of the sunbeds because they have to have an unobstructed view to the sea. It's just one of those things, so don't bother doing it. It's just embarrassing if they tell you you can't leave it there. But this area is nice and quiet, very nice for chilling out. There are hotels very nearby, and in fact, there's one on the beach itself. But for me, if I'm coming in from little distance, bringing the family, I like to have showers. And the local restaurant, which is a sort of typical fish, mostly fish restaurant, has got showers that you can pay for. That's great if you're not staying nearby, but if you're staying nearby, you know, it's not so important. But it's nice to have a shower if you need it. So as we come down the eastern end of the beach, you've got a different sort of style of sunbeds, a little bit dearer, and here you can order drinks on the sunbed, they'll bring them over to the sunbed. And they can also bring down um, food from the main hotel, which is the Santa Ulia Hotel and Resort. And they do like, um, you can go order snacks from here, which they will bring down to the beach for you. Albufeira itself became super popular in the 60s and 70s. That's when the package holiday industry really started off and it really started to become affordable to come here. But don't forget, since Roman times, people have been fishing here, working on the beach, working with the sea, living off the sea. So it's got a long history, but the history of the tourists is actually more recent. But you can still see signs of the fishermen everywhere you go. Fantastic nice. daily holiday here. Yeah. Very nice. Please day. come and join well, us. Please. We will. They will. And we would like everyone to come here. <laughs> Definitely. Portuguese is nice food, nice weather, and a nice people. And this is a nice beach? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, really excellent. Definitely yeah. excellent nice beach. Clean. Okay, then. Yeah. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye, bye. Here I am with Rodrigo and Philip at the Water Sports Centre on the beach. Interestingly, this centre's been here 20 years, you were yes, telling me? Exactly. So you can tell it's an established place, they're safe, they know what they're doing, and basically they've got a wide variety of sports. You've yeah. got jet skis, you've got inflatables, you've got the pedalo things. Yes. Which would you say is the most popular? Well, is everything is popular, but we have uh, UFO, it's the most fun for the, the people. Uh, can go children's, uh, safety, so it depends whatever you want to do, but everything here is uh, safety. Yeah. I only discovered this today, which is why these videos are really useful, not just for you guys, but for me. We actually discovered this end of the beach and it's almost like a mini children's playground. So next time when I come with my kids, I head to this end of the beach. They'll meet kids, it'll be great.
making these videos never ceases to surprise me because even though I think I know a beach, I find unusual things, people to talk to, etc. In the case of this beach, you've got this lovely sort of coastal path that leads away from the beach. If you want to do some keep fit, there's some big steps walking down if you want to run up and down in the morning. And then the main beach itself, it's really got something for everybody. From this end where it seems to be dominated by children to a little bit further down, we saw the water sports, which are great. Go a little bit further, you've got traditional restaurants and you've also got a slightly posher restaurant for the evening if you want to watch sunset. So I have to say, one of my favorite beaches now because I've learned a lot about it. I'm Nick, this is 2L Garth. Don't forget to subscribe so we can keep bringing you these great videos. Leave a comment, uh, give us some ideas. Let us know what you want us to do next. But thanks for joining me today. Bye for now.